Hey guys, it's Amanda and Monica Erlumi, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you some very basic designs that you can do with strand bands. Now, if you are not aware of strand bands or you did not know that we were taking part in this new product, we do have a video that's already been posted, and it's about our unboxing and gives you just a little bit of information about the actual product. So I'll put that down in the description box below, down there. And you guys can take a look at it, probably watch it before you actually start anything so you can have a better idea of the product. And we just go over a few things. So in this video, I'm just going to make this really kind of short and sweet and uh, just go over some basics. I'm not going to do a full design. I've already got some already created for you. I'm just going to get you started. So this is your actual strand bands. So go ahead and grab some strand bands, whichever colors you want. And in this tutorial today, I'm going to be showing you how to use, this is called the Cobra. Now, let me see. Let me zoom in here a little bit and see. This is actually called the Cobra design. All right, that's pretty awesome. I think that's a cool bracelet. And this is the one that we talked about in the other video that's very, very similar to the design I use when you um, are paracording. Uh, you know, that's a very popular I don't want to call it a craft. I mean, it is a craft, but it's more for uh, multi-purposes of use to have a, a actually paracord on your arm when you're out hunting or camping or anything like that. So, uh, but this is the, the design for that. And I will tell you that this is the first one that I ever made with strand bands. And you can see at the very top how it's very uneven, not really very pretty to look at. And I, basically, I was just trying to figure it out. And then down here towards the bottom, I finally got the, the hang of it and was, was learning and about being very precise and the actual strand band placement. So this one, if you do want to make this, this can be just a little bit time consuming. And also it does take, you know, you have to be really aware of what you're doing and watching what you're doing. Sometimes you can um, loom like we like to do and watch like hook, hook only designs from our rainbow loom and we watch TV and do the same thing. This one you kind of have to pay just a little bit more attention to. So this is the one I'm going to be showing you. Here's one that I, I did another one and I actually incorporated some of the beads from Strand Band. So um, this one I actually used two of the Strand Bands for each to count as one. So and this one turned out really good. I uh, kind of like that. I'd be wearing that. And secondly, what I'm going to show you is just a basic braid on how to use the, the, bra the bands for that. And then I'm also going to show you how to just incorporate if you wanted to do a basic braid on one of the charms that is included in your kit. So go ahead and get your supplies. First, we are going to start off with our Cobra. And we'll be right back. All right, so I'm just going to show you the basics on how to actually get all this stuff together. So here, when you buy your, your, your strand bands, they're going to come looking like this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to make it similar to the one that I did for this one. I use two bands, two strand bands, to count as one. So I'm going to take that, just pull that apart. They are very long. So I'm going to be using red today and I'm also going to be using black. So I'm going to go ahead and get my black and do the same thing with that and we'll be back. Alright, so you will be needing some type of clipboard. If you purchase the uh, the big kit from Strand Bands, it would have come with one of these clipboards. Um, so we are going to be using this today. Like I said, these bands are long. So go ahead and take your two sets of uh, bands. And what we're going to do is we're going to fold them in half. Do, do, do. So basically just kind of get both of them even at the ends 
You're not going to use the entire string, but it's better just depending on how long of the length of the bracelet that you want that you just go ahead and, and have them. So even them up at the bottom. And then here at the top, it's going to look like this. So you want your rounded part right here where you've, where you've bent them in half. And what we're going to do, we're just going to tie a knot right here. I would tie a very small knot. I'm going to start mine off big, but I'm going to push it down to make it small. Okay. And just make it really, really, really tight. All right. So we're going to be taking this, placing our knot, our little... Uh, piece right there and then here you can see whoops it actually stuck to the there's a suction cup on the back so uh, of the strand band ones we're gonna take it put it on these little notches in here and we're just gonna close it well it was on a notch now if you have bought any of the kits and obviously if you're watching this video hopefully you have um, these are the actual uh, instructions that come with the the package. So in the package, it's going to show you how to make this design. But sometimes looking at a piece of paper and looking uh, at a video and watching somebody else do it is a lot easier. So, so if you want, if you're using two different colors and you want it to have a different color on the outside, then you're going to need to separate the bands to have a red and a black in the middle and a red and a black on the outside. If you just want to have one color, kind of like how I made this one, then just do two reds in the middle and black on the outside, whichever uh, color you want on the outside, and it kind of works like that. So, But we are going to be doing two colors. I like the red and the black. That's for my U of L. Louisville Cardinals. Alright, so you want to take this and you want to pull it very taut and then down here at the bottom you're going to see these little notches take these put them in the notch and then just secure it so it's going to be secure very good and then what I'm going to do because you do have all this excess band I'm just going to kind of move it out of my way so I'm not going to get it um, confused Actually, I'm just going to push it underneath there so I don't get it confused with these bands out here. All right. So with, sorry, my, my camera got a little all jacked up there for a minute. Starting on the left-hand side, we're going to kind of take and make a L shape, C shape, round shape, whatever you want to call it. And we're going to take the end of the band, strand bands. It's so weird for me to call these bands when they're actually strings because I'm so used to saying rainbow line. But anyway, when I say bands, I mean bands, strand bands. So we're going to take and go this one and go underneath. Now you need to make sure that this one's kind of laying down. So you're going to take this one on top of the black. So we're going to leave that like that. Take our black. Remember, this is laying on top of the black, and we're going to go underneath that L or C shape. Kind of pulling these together like this, and you'll know if it's correct if it looks just like this. Now what we're going to do is pull it taut. And these are very stretchy, so they're going to move with you very well. Okay, so now since we started on the left, we're moving over to the right. Same process. Take the red, we're going underneath, pulling this down to make sure we're on top of this. Making that CL shape, taking the black, going through. And what we're doing is just creating a knot. Just like that. Pull it taut. And you're going to notice if you kind of get sidetracked and know, uh, forget which side that you did last, your band is, if you can see, your band is going to kind of 
pop out or stand up and the other one's going to go under. So the what, whichever band you have that's kind of popping out, that's the side that you're going to do. And I did learn that while I was working on this. Whoops. All right, same process. And this is basically all that you do. Over and through. And my band's popping up here. I'm sorry if you guys hear Adam in the background. He's right outside my door. <laughs> there we go. Just, now see, I did that one wrong. I got distracted. Just talking about Adam. Okay, this... There we go. This is going to go up over that black, and the black's going to go through. There we go. Looks good. And you're just going to follow that pattern. I'll show you one more time. And follow that pattern all the way to the length of the bracelet that you want to make it. And... There you have it. That is your Cobra style. Like I said, I'm not going to do the whole thing. I just want to get you started. Just follow that down. Sometimes that I, well, I did learn when you kind of get down here, it's best if you kind of take this off and move your band, move your bands up because this will actually just clip anywhere underneath there. As long as you have something to hold it, it's going to work. So, so that is the Cobra design. And I'm going to pause here, come back, and I'll just show you the basic braid. So for this one, you will need three colors, or you can use one solid color or two colors, whichever. But a typical braid takes three strands, so I'm going to be using three strands. So I'm doing this double. So I'm going to take my strand bands and just pull off two strand bands. I'm going to do this three times with all of my colors. I'm going to be using this gray, and I have a baby pink and a purple, which I'm in love with. So I'm going to do that three times. You go ahead and get yours, and then we'll get started on that. So I have all of my, my bands uh, strung apart. Uh, they are double, so two for each one. So what you need to do now, because these are very, very, very long, you can see. Very, very long. We're going to cut them. And I know that with a braid, it's not going to use that many of the actual length of the, of the bands. So I'm going to probably cut it just so I can have some excess on the end. I'm probably going to cut it to that. So let me grab my scissors. And chop. Very easy. So the rest of these bands, still usable. Plenty of use for them. Um, they're still very long. You could actually do the Cobra design with this, whatever's left over. So plenty of bands left. So what I'm going to do here at the top with these three, I'm just going to tie a knot. With all three. There we go. I'm going to push it as close to the top as I can. There we go. Make it taut. Put it under here somewhere where you know that it's going to be secure. And we are just going to braid. Now, we'll tell you that it is best when you are doing this simple braid to make sure that when you when you cross over the bands that they are all going the same direction. Don't have one kind of lopsided or else it's not going to lay very uh, smooth and flat. I just kind of learned that, you know, I was as I was working with it. So just doing a simple braid and we're just going to cross over leaving those bands flat on top. 
And your bands are going to be shorter, so you, you don't really have to worry about moving all those out of the way. So we're just going to do a simple braid. Crossing over. Leaving those bands flat. Not rolling over, but just flat. And there you have it. Very simple. And what you'll do at the end is just tie it off. Oh, these colors look awesome together. I'm a gray and pink fan. I love pink and gray together. All the time. That and green, are those are my three favorite colors. So, you know what? I don't think we even... We didn't really get like a regular green. We got like a turquoise and then we got like a neon green, but we didn't really get like a true green. So anyway, if you if you start to do it and those bands are kind of rolling over like that and they're not sym symmetrical, they're going to start to look different. So if you just lay them flat, cross them over laying them flat, it'll turn out really nice. And then you would just knot this at the end. So that is your braid design for the strand bands. So this last step I'm gonna show you, very basic, just how to incorporate using one of their charms. This is a charm that they included with the, the heart and the infinity sign. And what I did is I just added a braid. And I'm gonna be using the, the pink, purple, and the gray that I used in the braid previously. And what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make this even. I've already done this side, I'm just gonna show you how to do, do this on the other side, just so this video is not so crazy long. So we're putting these through the, sign, the, the infinity sign, and we're matching, that up, matching them up at the bottom. Now they're not gonna be exactly 100% perfectly straight, but And we're just gonna have them like that. So what you've done is you've just kinda looped over those bands. Okay, so what you're gonna have, you're gonna have a set of two for each one. And each one of these are gonna count as the actual braid. So I'm just gonna take this, put that there. It will hold, get my bands together, and I'm just gonna braid this. Crossing over with the, every one of those counting as one. May kind of get just a little bit tricky at the very beginning. But keeping those bands together and we are just braiding. Crossing over. Just like so. Now I'm doing this because I'm assuming, doing this this way because I'm assuming everybody knows how to braid. And this actually, this looks really good. I really like this idea. And Monica has a tutorial coming out um, soon about her dream catcher. And what she did is she braided on both sides of the dream catcher. So she will probably refer back to this tutorial as she's making the dream catcher. So yeah, I make this one just a little bit tighter and it's moving with me. A little bit tighter than I did the other one. Just to kind of give you an idea of Braiding. So then anyway, so then obviously when you're done both sides are going to match but this is just for tutorial purposes. Then what I did is I just kind of instead of knotting it right there I just held it secure with a rainbow loom band and then you can tie them and have the excess strand bands kind of flailing around which is kind of a cool idea um, and then you have your infinity heart bracelet design. So I hope you found this uh, tutorial useful and helpful with uh, making strand bands. We do have a lot to come. This is just the first of many that will be released. Monica is incorporating so many other things. Uh, rainbow loom bands. She's made a dream catcher with them. Adding the beads because they do all, like we said before, they do all come, unless you just buy the, the band pack, uh, they do all come with beads. And uh, if you will, go ahead and 
Subscribe to our channel if you want to see future videos about strand bands and rainbow loom. Uh, we have not given up rainbow loom by any means. This is just something we are adding to the channel. So, um, hope you have enjoyed this video. As always, we are looming and banding for cause. So, uh, like I said, Instagram, all the links will be located in the bottom. And right now, as we speak, there's a giveaway going for, on for strand band. So, look at our previous strand band tutorial and hope you enjoy. And we can't wait to see your creations. Thanks, guys. Love y'all.